you need to make a smart choice for your trial solution if you want to find a particular solution for your secondary linear differential equation using the methods of undetermined coefficients. But how do you make this choice? If you include too many terms, you have to do a lot of computations and in the end most of them are zero. And if your trial solution does not contain the correct terms, you do not find a particular solution at all. In this video we will discuss some guidelines to find a trial solution in a few common cases. So let us take a look. So we have an equation of the form a times y double plus b times y prime plus c times y equals g of x, where g of x is the right hand side. Suppose now that your g of x is of the form e to the power k x times some polynomial, p of x from polynomial of degree n. So what would be the trial solution in that case? Well, I try my particular e to the power k x, you keep that one, times q of x. Uh, uh, q of x is an arbitrary polynomial of the degree n, so contains a times x to the power n plus all the lower order terms. For example, if you have g of x equals x squared times e to the power x, a good trial solution would be e to the power x, keep that, plus a general second order polynomial, so ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, what happens if you have also sines and cosines? So, for example, if uh, g of x equals e to the power kx times cosine mx times bx, or equivalently, if you have a sine instead of a cosine, what can you do in that case? Well, in that case you do uh, something uh, similar. You try as your uh, trial solution e to the power kx times cosine mx times q of x, be a q here, uh, plus e to the power kx sine x times rx. So you do not just take only the e to the power x times cosine mx uh, with the arbitrary polynomial, but you also include the terms, the sine terms over here. For example, if your uh, g of x would be x times sine 2x, what would you do in that case? Well, your e to the power kx is in there, so your k is basically zero. So your particular solution would be with the sine of 2x polynomial of order 1, so a general polynomial of order 1, ax plus b, plus also include the cosine terms with the x to c x plus d. So this is all this always where it is works like this if your uh, right hand side is not part of your uh, uh, not a uh, not part of the solution of the complementary equation. So what should you do in that case if your uh, right hand side is uh, a solution happens to be a solution of the complementary equation. So in this that case take the same i y p but multiply with x or with x squared if necessary. So Let's do an example to see what happens. For example, if you dis have this equation, uh, y double bounds for y prime plus 13y equals this right hand side. Well, you can compute the solution of the complementary equation, and that happens to be uh, exactly this right hand side over there. So, what would you do in that case as a trial solution? Well, your trial solution in general would be uh, a times cosine 3x times e to the power 2x plus b times sine 3x times e to the power 3x according to this rule over there. Uh, but it's a solution of the complementary equation, so what you do is to you should add an additional factor of x for your particular solution. Notice that this becomes computationally already quite intensive if you want to compute the a's and the b's, because if you, you have to differentiate twice, and you have now a, a product uh, consisting of three terms containing an x. So you better this correct, otherwise you have to differentiate a lot. Uh, and then, how do you see whether you may have to differentiate with, uh, to multiply with x squared? Well, for example, if you have this case, y double minus 4y prime plus 4y equals e to the power 2x. Compute the, uh, uh, the uh, solution of the complementary equation first, so set the right hand side to 0, substitute e to the power rx, and you see that you get uh, 0 of order 2, r minus 2 squared equals 0, so this is your complementary solution. So you see that uh, try yp equals a times e to the power 2x won't work because that, that one is already in your uh, complementary solution. Adding 1x won't help you either because if you would try something like a times x times e to the power 2x, that is also already part of the complementary equation, so it will vanish as well. So you see that uh, multiplying with x doesn't help you. So in a case like that, 
then you would multiply with x squared and try to show particular solution a times x squared times e to the power 2x.